the Martin Oscar duo speakers. You can see there, they look pretty traditional, don't they, in terms of being a two-way stand mount hi-fi speaker. But if I was to say to you that in some ways they have smashed my expectation of what a speaker like this can do, I wonder if you would believe me, because I'm not sure I would believe me if I was sitting there watching this video. But in the ways that they have smashed my expectations, maybe, just maybe, that's also their one chink in the armor. Let's get into it. Marten Speakers was formed in 1998 and they are based in Gothenburg in Sweden. And they are very much a high-end speaker manufacturer. Their Coltrane Supreme 2 speakers sells for £350,000 or maybe $480,000, give or take with the exchange rate. So just let that sink in for a minute. The Oscar range of speakers, of which there are two models, the Oscar Duo, which is a two-way stand mount speaker, and the Oscar Trio, which I'm sure you've guessed it, is a two-way, I got you there, didn't I? A two-way floor standing speaker. And both of them have been created to try and give consumers the Martin sound, but at a more competitive price point. The Oscar Duo is Martin's most affordable speaker to date, but they still cost quite a considerable chunk of change. When you look at the Oscar Duo, they are a very nice looking speaker. The words simple elegance spring to mind. They have a very high quality finish, some nice touches that you can see like the silver accents and the WBT speaker cable binding posts. It's nice to see those being used. And on the inside, there are some other nice touches that you can't see, such as copper foil air core coils, silver and gold capacitors, supreme resistors, and Yorma cabling. Yorma is Martin's sister company that makes some very high-end hi-fi cabling solutions, and I reviewed their entry-level cables last year, and they are really very good. The Oscar Duo's driver array features a seven inch ceramic mid-bass driver and a one inch ceramic tweeter. And both of these drivers are just interesting to look at. I like the way light reflects off of them. There is something clean and intriguing and modern about how they look. I am using the Oscar Duo with Martin's dedicated stands for them, which are an additional premium as you would expect and the speakers bolt to the stands for that extra bit of security. And apart from that slightly angled baffle and maybe the curved edges, there isn't really anything about these speakers that would shout out to you that they are gonna break any type of mold. But what about their frequency response? 37 hertz to 20 kilohertz. 37 hertz for a speaker of this type and form factor, but obviously these are only the manufacturer's specs. They're not always to be trusted or to be believed, are they? <laughs> or are they? Setting them up was easy to a point. I think largely because they're not that heavy, so it's easy to move them around. And I found it actually, again, quite easy to find a spot for them in my room and an angle or towing for them and a time alignment distance to get, you know, a nice solid center image and then a good amount of snap or a good amount of focus from left to right across the soundstage. And as you can see, I actually settled with them being quite towed in being quite on axis to me as the listener. And I think this is probably more towed in and more on axis than a lot of owners will use them. But at the moment, I'm just really appreciating and enjoying that really very direct sound. When I measured the speakers in my room, the frequency response is very interesting. Above where the room really takes over from what the speaker is doing, you can see the Oscar Duo have a very nice and smooth overall response with a couple of interesting features. Firstly, there is the very commonly seen dip around the two and a half kilohertz or the presence region. 
And then the next interesting thing is a slight rise in the treble. But overall, it's a very nice and smooth in-room response. I did find it a little bit tricky getting the Oscar Duo set up in my room from a Dirac Live calibration point of view. Yes, the mid-range and treble was really easy to dial that in, but it was the bass that took me quite a few goes to feel like I was at a, you know, a good place. And bass is where I want to start by talking about the sound of the speakers. But before I do, I just want to make you aware that I've created a sound demonstration video for you to go and watch to give you some idea of how I had the speakers set up and some idea of how they were sounding for me. If you're interested in that type of video, it'll be linked up there for you. The amount of bass that these Oscar duos produce is genuinely laws of physics defying. They sound like floor standing speakers. Not obviously big, big ones, but like floor standing speakers. And this was definitely a big surprise for me with them. It kind of goes in with what Martin say. They say that they've designed the crossover in the Oscar duo to maximize dynamics. And we all know that bass is a really important part of dynamics. And yeah, the Oscar duos can really deliver big dynamic swings of bass. And regulars to the channel will know that I really appreciate bass and really appreciate quite a lot of bass. And normally with stand mount speakers of this type and size, I'm trying to eke out of them as much bass as possible. But still bewildering me at the moment is that with the Oscar duos, I was toning the bass down from them in order to try and get it as tight as possible. And I definitely think they would have liked more space around them than I was able to give them in my room for what that's worth. They've just got a very full and full bodied sound and they easily do room filling bass like you would expect from much bigger speakers. And I think the only other speaker of this type that I've had in here for review that was something like this was the Monitor Audio Platinum PL100 Mark II because they gave really big bass as a speaker but I don't remember them being anything like or being able to produce anything like the real scale and the real dynamics and authority of the bass that the Martin Oscar Duo can deliver. And this is very much amplifier dependent because using the Griffin Audio Diablo 120 definitely gave a bigger and more rich and grander scale of bass compared to using the Arcam SA30. Now there is a huge price delta between these two amplifiers and the Martin Oscar Duo was very much able to make me aware of that and aware of the difference. And I think they was very much able to take advantage of it as well. The next thing that impressed me about them was their soundstage creation and their imaging ability. Cause yes, they have the ability to fill the room with sound, but it's always an organized and mostly precisely laid out, clear and well-defined soundstage. Going back to that dip in the frequency response in the presence region. I think that's definitely a factor in how the Martin Oscar presents their soundstage because for most of the music and for a lot of the time, the main event or the mid range and the vocals are just held back. They're just held back from you just that little bit. The treble in the main is smooth and even and I think for a lot of audio files, it will be nicely balanced for the most part. I did find the treble to be just a little bit laid back for my personal tastes. But I think that is large in part to my listening room, which is very heavily acoustically treated, which is gonna be very different to the rooms that the majority of owners of these speakers will listen in, which makes me think that the balance of treble from these speakers is probably going to work really nicely for a lot of audiophiles, rooms, systems, and tastes. But in saying that, if you are an audiophile who likes a really crispy or really lively treble, then these are probably not the speakers for you. I think they're going for more tonality and richness and sultriness and smoothness. I'm sure they would call that a very organic sound. And you can definitely hear that organic sound and that character 
coming through with the Oscar duos for their mid-range and vocal delivery because male and female vocals at times have real soul to them. And again, they're always expressive and they're always very dynamic vocals that can really shift in terms of their presentation, providing the system is good enough to allow them to do it. Yeah, the Oscar duos in my room, yeah, they definitely created a big, bold, bassy sound with a mellow and mostly laid back mid-range and a mellow, mostly laid back treble. But I must stress and emphasize the fact that it was really able to shift, really shift their dynamics up and down gears as the music demanded. And overall, it's a very impressive speaker for its ability to be able to do this, and especially do this in the bass, again for the form factor, again for the size, and definitely for the cost. The bass was extremely impressive for being big in scale, big in dynamics, big in its ability to swing, and definitely big in terms of bass extension and fullness. But some of the bass, I think it was probably more the deeper bass, just didn't sound quite as in control as maybe some of the higher bass notes were. So I'm not sure if it's necessarily the speaker, or maybe it's me, maybe I didn't quite have them set up just right, or maybe the one chink in the armor would be this big scale bass, just could do with being a little bit tighter. But that is me comparing them to speakers that cost significantly more and floor standing speakers that cost significantly more. Price-wise, the Oscar duos cost £4,950, and then the stands obviously are an additional extra. So yes, they are a reasonable chunk of money for hi-fi speakers, but they are really not crazy expensive for what they do, again, for their size and form factor. Something that Martin have done recently as a company, they've started with some of their range of speakers anyway, installing dedicated speaker isolators. And that is work that they've done in combination with ISO acoustics. So maybe adding some Martin ISO acoustics speaker isolators under the stands for the Oscar duo could be that dial, could be that notch, just to tighten that sound up just that little bit more. <laughs> then <laughs> we are talking really, really something. So that's definitely, you know, I think something to bear in mind if you are considering buying these speakers. It's not something that you have to do, but it's definitely something that you might want to consider. Some audiophiles might struggle with the, the idea and the notion of spending that kind of money on a stand mount pair of speakers. When you can buy good floor standing speakers for that kind of money. And I, I understand that, I can see why some audiophiles might think that, but I think flipping that on its head for a second, thinking that you can get a floor standard like level of performance from a you know, smallish, compact, very slim line stand mount speaker that really can deliver big dynamics, big bass, and still with a lot of quality, I think will actually be music to a lot of other audiophiles ears, no pun intended. I feel like with the Oscar duo, Martin have almost created a party speaker. You know, a speaker that is full of life, full of energy, full of fun, real gutsy, and got lots of gusto to how it presents music. It's definitely what they do, and you, again, you wouldn't think it, but that's definitely what they do. But there's much more quality to them than that. There's some real quality to how they present music, which means they're definitely an audiophile speaker, but one maybe designed with a little bit of fun in mind. And that is where things get even more interesting for me because next I'm going to be reviewing the Martin Parker Duo speakers, which are a larger stand mount speakers further up in the range. Also a new design. There's some really cool features about them and I'm really looking forward to listening to them. And I'm wondering now what kind of molds are they going to break? So we'll all be finding that out together soon. I hope you've enjoyed this review and video. Hope you found it useful and helpful. If you are interested in the Martin Oscar Duo speakers and you're in the UK, there are a select number of UK retailers that have them available. I'll put them up on the screen for you. I suggest contacting your local one and arrange to have a demo for yourself. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching, take care, bye.